go. Let's go, y'all. We back on Real Reality, the channel that brings you the weirdest, creepiest, spookiest, scariest, most viral, most outlandish TikToks and conspiracy theories. Put them all together for you guys in one place right here for your viewing pleasure now with that out of the way i have a crazy one for you this week guys a lot of weird stuff going on it's gonna leave you all scratching your head so enough of all this chit chat guys let's get right into it so you see her hands go above her face once watch when they come back down i wanted to post screenshots of the ai filter coming off so people could see for a bit longer just how insane this is Watch her face glitch. Now watch her back tattoo disappear. What do you guys think? Is it Britney? Or is it somebody laying Britney? 2024 is going to be very chaotic. It's going to be weird. There's some weird movies coming out. How many of you guys saw the recent movie, Leave the World Behind? Anybody saw that movie there? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know all these... What are you, am I watching a movie or is this a documentary realistic thing? And then I'm seeing Mark Zuckerberg just spent $100 million building a house in Hawaii with a nuclear bunker what does he know that the rest of the world doesn't know about talk about the timing oh accidentally coincidentally a week after that movie comes out a new movie comes out what's the name of that movie civil war civil huh leave the world behind our power grid in america hasn't been updated 75 percent of it hasn't been updated in 50 years and you're kind of talking about that then you're pinning whites against blacks there's a line in the movie that says, Dad, you know if something goes down, we can't trust these white people. I know that's something both you and mom agree on. Why do you put that line in the movie, Barack? And you were helping with the script. Why would you put that in the movie? Why would you put that in the movie? Barack, weren't you the same guy that gave a talk at the DNC in 2004 about bringing people together? What happened to that guy? Leave the world behind. Civil war. I mean... What's the next one going to be called? Kill Planet Earth? This is absolutely shocking. There's a strange conspiracy online that claims that Walmart brand ice cream sandwiches doesn't melt due to the chemicals used to make the product. I feel like this could be real, but I had to see for myself. I left the product exposed for 24 hours, and shockingly, it didn't seem to melt at all. The ingredients state multiple strange ingredients, but maybe I'm overreacting. Listen, y'all, let me give you a real quick tip. If you're in the mood for an ice cream sandwich or any type of ice cream product, do not. I repeat, do not. Go to Walmart, okay? Tires, windshield wipers, brake fluid, Walmart. Ice cream, ice cream sandwiches, milkshakes, ice cream store, okay? You can thank me later, y'all. Big warning on Capitol Hill yesterday from FBI Director Christopher Wray about possible hacking attacks by the Chinese government. He said China could target our infrastructure, causing potentially catastrophic damage. Nicole Skanga has more now from Washington. China has shown it will make us pay. FBI Director Christopher Wray delivered this warning on Capitol Hill. China's hackers are positioning on American infrastructure in preparation to wreak havoc and cause real-world harm to American citizens. Cautioning Chinese hackers are aiming to infiltrate the nation's pipelines, water treatment plants, transportation system, and even the U.S. power grid. Imagine not one pipeline, but many pipelines disrupted. Uh, telecommunications going down so people can't use their cell phone. People start getting sick from polluted water. Trains get derailed. This is truly and everything, everywhere, 
all at once scenario. And it's one where the Chinese government believes that it will likely crush American will for the U.S. to defend Taiwan in the event of a major conflict there. This week, the FBI announced a takedown of Volt Typhoon, a Chinese-backed hacking operation enabling malicious actors to spy on U.S. critical infrastructure, accessed through privately owned office and home internet routers. Federal law enforcement disabled the hackers, obtaining court orders to delete the malware off hundreds of infected devices. They target our freedoms, reaching inside our borders across America to silence coerce and threaten some of our citizens and residents. U.S. officials also warn they expect Chinese hackers to wage influence campaigns online centered on the 2024 election. So on top of massive flooding, earthquakes happening where there's no fault lines, killer tornadoes, killer tsunamis, horrendous hurricanes, we now, we now introduce China and their hacking and cyber crimes. If 2024 wasn't off to a weird start already. I'm telling you right now, something is not right about this eclipse. This is the path that it will take and it will cross over with the eclipse that we had in 2017, making an X on the country. Now, right there in the crosshairs, right there is a town called Maconda, Illinois. Let's talk about it. So this is a better look at the direct path of totality that the solar eclipse will take. Right there by Carbondale where the X meets is Maconda. Just as a fun fact for shiggles, this has never happened in the United States. We have never had two solar eclipse paths cross over on one town. So this is a pretty big fucking deal. Maconda really isn't that big of a deal. It has a population of like 500 people and it's known as a hippie town in Illinois. Now, what I did find interesting is that there is a giant city state park inside of Maconda. Are we waking up giants? Now, Maconda translated to South African means little ones. Are we the little ones and they're the big ones coming when the eclipse happens? Now, maybe I'm wilding out. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe there's nothing to this. But if I am just wilding out and there is nothing to this, why have they already predicted a historical chance of cloud coverage on the day of the solar eclipse? Since when do they predict cloud coverage two months in advance? That shit is suspicious. The fact that this hasn't ever happened before is suspicious. The fact that there is a giant city state park right outside Sewanee National Forest, which is known for Bigfoot sightings, is suspicious. So are the clouds a attempt to hide the eclipse from us so that we don't see what happens in the shadows? Because let me remind you, this total solar eclipse will last for four minutes and 30 seconds. Is this uh, eclipse gonna totally wreck our planet? Like a lot of people are saying? Probably not, but again, it would be interesting to hear your thoughts, guys. So let us know below what you think. All right, Florida, get ready. Things are shaking off really, really quickly, y'all. There was an earthquake last night. The National Weather Service reported a 4.0 magnitude earthquake hit the East Coast. Check this out, y'all. We can expect weather-wise throughout the day. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hi, good morning. Yeah, I do want to quickly mention this because Brooks and I were just talking, actually. There was a reported earthquake last night about 101 miles offshore of Cape Canaveral, and it was reported at around 1048 last night. It was a magnitude 4, so there were a couple of uh, rumblings, according to social media, from some folks near Palm Bay, so we'll work to get more information about that, but uh, some remarkable stuff. That's pretty rare that that happens around here because there's no major fault lines nearby either. But here at home. So were you guys aware that the Navy has a future map of the United States and what it's going to look like? Because um, right now, this is um, it's very interesting with all the flooding that's happening everywhere, right? Especially in California and Florida, too. And now we just have an earth. We just had an earthquake and there's no fault line over here. What? is going on y'all what is going on did you guys know about this they say people in saint augustine was feeling the earthquake hmm? did you guys know about this that's crazy y'all things are happening really quickly this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times listen y'all florida doesn't have earthquakes are you not seeing this this man looks terrified and do you want to know why because he asked Alexa a simple question. There's that device right there. And I'm not sure who programmed Alexa. I'm not gonna lie, the shit's scary. Regardless if it's Hey Google or Siri, sometimes we ask 
these devices questions that we don't really want the answer to. We're just curious, but I think you should hear it and share it with someone. And this is for educational purposes only. Run that video, comment below. What happened when you asked Alexa this question? Hey, wanna hear some fucked up shit? Alexa, who will win the next American election? The 2024 American election will not take place. There will be no winner. War Powers Resolution of 1973 or the War Powers Act will be invoked by the act of war with Russia and China. Once an invoke, the standing party will retain and remain in power. Uh, just a thought. I think Mr. Jeff Bezos needs to spend a little less time off his uh, billion dollar mega yacht and maybe put a little more time in at the office. Just saying. Just a thought. Just a thought. Breaking news. The day after a nationwide cell phone outage, we have another unidentified balloon floating across the United States currently above Colorado with U.S. military aircraft scrambled. What is going on? Just shoot it down, y'all. Like, what is the big deal? What's the problem with that? If we don't know whose it is, blow it up. The following video comes from a local news station in Peru that caught something pretty creepy on camera. The station had featured a news report showing footage of a small town struck by severe weather. Residents of this town were left devastated by this natural disaster, but many of them were left totally creeped out after watching this broadcast. Apparently, something strange was captured. The segment in question starts off with footage of a school playground that appears to be completely devoid of any children. Ni los juegos infantiles se salvaron de la furia de la naturaleza. Los columpios sube y baja quedaron flotando en el agua en posada. Now the reporter makes it clear that the site has been abandoned as heavy rains have flooded the area. The segment then shows more footage of other sites that have also been left behind. But one clip in particular has left many viewers feeling a bit weird. In fact, they were left feeling beyond spooked upon noticing something strange in the recording. The news reporter is visiting a section of the town known as Santo Domingo when out of nowhere, this happens. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo Comité 6, mira la escalera, ¿cómo podría bajar aquí una persona, un anciano, los niños, cómo podrían bajar? As the camera pans over to the base of the stairs, a strange figure can be seen. It's hard to make out what exactly is being seen here, but it's clear that someone or something is there. This mysterious figure moves in such a way as though struggling to get a grip on the staircase. Residents of the town no doubt believe that this may have been the ghost of a victim who was claimed by this natural disaster, but it's still a mystery as to who or even what this might have been. Now it's worth noting that the reporter didn't notice the figure while filming, which has led viewers to believe that something supernatural was captured. But as always, you be the judge. Did something paranormal appear? Or was something else captured? I don't know what that camera picked up, but it is absolutely 100% fucking terrifying, y'all. Are they telling us something we don't know? People were concerned after this giant puppet was pulled out of the ocean, and as soon as they took the helmet out, it looked directly up at it as if it had its own train of thought. I already know some of you are going to be like it could have been that it was being moved remotely but even during parades they only use cables and if you look closely there was being nothing tucked at it which makes it even creepier so some may say that it's a giant in disguise while others are saying that there was magic being used. I don't care what any of y'all say. I don't care what any of y'all say. That puppet just had a fucking thought. <laughs> <laughs> their kids were being drugged with sleepy time patches without their consent, and they say they were disguised as stickers. Did the teacher give you any stickers, any patches? Yeah. And where would she put them? Right here. Right here. In inside? Yes. Show me where the teacher put the sticker on you. Um, why my salt? 
they're not just plain old stickers. Parents are accusing a teacher at Options for Learning Head Start in South El Monte of placing Zen Patches mood calming stickers on their children without permission. So while we were surprised um, and really upset, because um, you don't you you bring your kids and you expect it to be good, you know. They were being put on every single child on this classroom. The parents alleged the teacher would take the patches off the students right before it was time to go home, but got caught the day this parent showed up unannounced. We came early for my little one and we caught it. She says her little boy had a mood calming sticker on his back. When she started asking questions, she discovered other students were also given similar patches. And we've seen a lot of behavioral issues, sleeping patterns, eating patterns different. So we've seen that the children ha are having like withdrawal uh, effects. I don't even know what the teacher was thinking when she did that. Maybe it was easier for them to control all the kids, to have them fall asleep faster. I mean, as a physician, I would emphasize the fact that applying any substance, like an essential oil, to children without thorough understanding of their health history and parental consent is not advisable. Ooh, let me find out that some teacher is putting some kind of drugged, medicated stickers on my kid. Oh, oh boy, that school would have a lawsuit and an issue bigger than they would ever know what to do with. Have you seen this? The Biden administration making slavery great again. Did you know that you too can get tax incentives for applying to keep a migrant in your home in exchange for cooking, cleaning, picking crops, and landscaping. You know, did we not already go through this in history? I thought, you know, I remember reading about this in history books. You know, I cannot believe this because any way you slice this, this is fucking slavery. You come, you live in my house, you do my bidding, you cook my food, you clean my house, you pick my fucking crops and mow my yards. Whoever in the hell come up with this bill I don't even know what to say about that. But y'all, what do you think about this? You can you can apply to have your very own migrant slave live in your house and get tax incentives from the government for doing so. I cannot believe that America is going to let this stand. But I just wanted to make y'all aware of this as usual. Like, follow, and share. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And have a great day. Please, for the love of God, somebody impeach or get this man out out of office before he really does some type of damage that cannot be fixed okay night frightening video of a man trying to take a six-year-old girl from her mother's arms at the center of a police investigation this guy he's starting to follow us nevea pegram eating dinner with her family in venice california a restaurant surveillance camera recording as you see the suspect walk right up to the girl he started telling us God told me to save her. I have to save her. So he kept coming up to us trying to take her. Her father and uncle immediately reacting, slamming him to the ground. I moved him away. My brother pulled him down by the hair. My brother got on top of him. Holding him there until police arrived. Officers arresting 32-year-old Evan McLaurin Nelson, the suspect who has a criminal record and is believed to be homeless, reportedly unrelenting. He was just yelling out loud. Save the girl, save the girl. I need to save her. This is where we're at, guys. This is where we're at. We're at a, a place in time where someone actually will run up to you in, 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 you know, right in front of your eyes. I was going to say in broad daylight, but it looks like it's at night and try and steal your child from you and say that God told him to do it. The first countries that will cease to exist in the next five to seven years are Japan, China, India, Italy, the United Kingdom, and the countries in the Arabian Peninsula. This is due to the geological structure of these territories and their vulnerability to climate disasters. All other countries will survive a little longer, but ultimately, they will face the same fate. Um. Okay, I guess. So how many of y'all had Civil War on your 2024 bingo card? So ready or not, this might actually be reality. We have the Biden administration threatening Texas to get all the National Guard out by the 26th. I'll be right back.
Well, as it stands right now, you might be able to make out behind me. Texas's razor wire is still here inside of Shelby Park. It remains untouched. However, the Biden administration has now warned Texas it has until tomorrow to allow Biden's border agents back into Shelby Park and the ability to remove Texas's razor wire as it sees fit. A federal attorney writes to Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton that the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Biden administration, ending a temporary restraining order that prohibited Biden's border agents from touching Texas razor wire in and around Shelby Park. The Biden administration goes into detail about the access it wants. It wants access to Shelby Park, also the nearby boat launch and the international bridge. And check this out. While that's going on, we have 25 governors that are standing with Texas in this situation. And then Trump is telling all those 25 states to send their National Guard to Texas and to the border. And don't forget about Tucker's sweet calling all men to stand up and guard Texas. What do y'all think? Is this going to blow over or is it going to blow up? I myself would have to say the latter. What do you guys think? Are we on the verge of uh, World War III? Possibly. Don't get me wrong. The new Willy Wonka movie looks fine. But there's no way it's going to be as dark as the original book. We're talking dark enough to not make any cut of any of the movies. Also, I cover stuff for the Darkly Curious here, and if that's you, you might like the podcast. So in all the movies, we see the Oompa Loompas as these like singing, dancing, unbothered henchmen of Willy Wonka's. But in the book, they are so much darker than that. In the book, Oompa Loompas are pygmies from Africa that Willy Wonka kidnapped and brought to his factory. Look at this passage. Once Willy Wonka realizes that they'll work for beans, he shipped them over here. Every man, woman, and child in the Oompa Loompa tribe, it was easy. I smuggled them over in large packing cases with holes in them, and they all got here safely. But the book came out in 1964, and at that point, slavery had been abolished in the UK for almost 160 years. So rightfully so, people were not happy with this portrayal. But this is just a good reminder that Willy Wonka is the villain of these movies. He's a curmudgeon shut-in with Peter Pan syndrome who invites children to his factory to watch them die. And then he acts as if you're the one annoying him. Anyways, this one looks very light and fluffy and not that. Damn! <laughs> who knew Willy Wonka was so fucking dark? So apparently you might be in danger because I guess plants can talk now. Or apparently they always could, but now we know about it. And they might be trying to conspire against us. People have known for a while that plants can communicate with each other. We know that there's huge networks of mycelium in the dirt. That plants can send electrical signals and hormone signals through this network. These fungal networks have been shown to be able to like allocate resources and even sometimes kill trees to use as food. We've known this for a while and we've also known that there's some evidence that some species of plants can see. This is Boquilla trifoliata. And basically this plant changes the shape of its leaves to blend in with the plants around it. There was a theory for a while that it was absorbing genetic material from those plants and then using that to figure out what shape they were and mimicking that. But then scientists started to realize that it also mimics the shape of plastic plants. So right now the leading theory is that the leaves of the plant have photoreceptors on them and they can process the light coming off the surrounding plants to figure out their shapes like an eye. That's the old stuff. But recently, they've learned that stressed plants actually make clicking noises. And even though they're higher pitched than human ears can pick up, they're at the same volume as a human voice. So when certain plants are being eaten by a predator or are dehydrated, they're literally like screaming out. Even though we can't hear them, there are many animals that can. I'm trying to figure out the exact purpose for this, but it is weird. And then the really creepy part. The first ever human has been infected with a plant fungus. This previously wasn't possible because fungi couldn't live in the temperatures present inside the human body, but apparently some of them have evolved and they can now. If you think this sounds familiar, it's because it literally was part of the plot in The Last of Us, but it actually just happened for real. So what if plants are just tired of us chopping them down and just put a hit out for them? I know that if I smoke enough of a certain plant, it'll seem like plants are talking to me, but that's about as far as plants talking to me go. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, Do you see this right now? He's floating. Uh oh. Oh no. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. He's stuck. Oh no. They're all, everyone's been doing this. We've been out here for what, 15 minutes? Yeah. And everyone's just driving by. Oh, 
silver one? Yeah, the silver car is floating. pretty sure it's time for that town to break out the boats and jet skis y'all because those cars ain't nothing but floating accidents waiting to happen this really be an actual alien on april 30th a police officer in las vegas caught what looks like a blue comet falling nearby shortly after this a family calls 911 911 emergency there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually weird. So there's, two, terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct. And they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot, nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, Everyone thought a shooting star. Then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. Claiming that something that's not human is in their backyard. They describe these creatures as two tall alien-like beings. Around the same time, the local neighbor's ring camera captured this. What'd you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tiny top. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. So it's 2024, the year that aliens finally make their presence known? I don't know. Could be. Do you ever hear the toothpaste theory? Toothpaste? So no. You know how the toothpaste at the bottom, there's always like a block of color on, on the thing. There's like a black a little square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what is that? What is so, that? You either get a black square, a red square, a blue square. You know what those mean? No, isn't it just like anti-cavity? Theory goes yeah. that the elites or the people that know the code uh -huh. stay away from certain colors of the toothpaste Whoa. so it's like it's like if you know you know yeah. the code is if you have the green on your toothpaste yeah it means it's all natural the blue it says adds natural plus medicine okay if it has red it's natural with chemical yeah. and if it has black it's all no. chemical because you think about why the f does all the toothpaste have that sh and it's all the same toothpaste now if you were part of some like secret yeah, organization yeah, yeah. across the world when you're going to buy products, uh -huh. how are you supposed to know which one's safe for you? Fuck. So you gotta look at this shit like, oh fuck, no, I can't buy this No, usually they're all black. No, it's so crazy because like, like you notice these things in life, but you, you never, never ask you never it. Yeah, this is a uh, 100% not cap. Uh, they really do put a color on the end of every tube of toothpaste. Um, so you as a consumer are able to know if you do travel to another country, what chemicals are in or not in your favorite brand of toothpaste. Or if you want to just turn it into this big, crazy conspiracy, you could do that too. You know, the Malaysia flight MH370 that went missing? Briefly remember, I'm not like educated on it. Back in 2014, right? There was a Malaysia flight that was supposed to go from Malaysia to Beijing. It had over 227 passengers and 12 crew members. They take off out of nowhere. Their like, satellite system communications gets turned off. And that only gets turned off inside of the plane, bro. Eventually, they ended up taking a weird ass route. And at one point, it just disappears from any sort of radar. Three years, different countries were helping to search for it. And they couldn't find anything. How the f do they lose a big ass plane? But the reason why it's also a little bit weird, a random ass person who had a Twitter named uh, Straight Away, he posted on Twitter saying that he received a random ass voice memo from the black phone of a plane. Or he didn't know at the time that it was from the black phone of a plane. Sierra, Oscar, Sierra, India, Tango, India, Sierra, Delta, India, Romeo, Echo, Foxtrot. Oscar. I kind of remember that voicemail. Isn't that like the military alphabet? Exactly, yeah. And uh, he spelled it out. It spelled out SOS danger. They are not human. So when he posted it on Twitter, what? he started getting random ass messages telling to him it? to delete it and shit. And he also ended up posting pictures and videos of people outside of his crib. The fuck. It's still a conspiracy to this day. Yeah. I don't know if they have found the plane yet. There's satellite video of unidentified objects like surrounding it and shit. And then I don't know where it teleports. I don't know how real that video is. Listen, y'all, if you have never heard or if you don't know about the Malaysian flight that disappeared in mid air, go Google it right now, because that is to this day. The creepiest, weirdest, spookiest, most paranormal event that our world has possibly ever seen. Maybe aside from like the pyramids being built, but it's on that level, y'all. Nobody knows where this plane went. It just, it, it, there's no debris. There's no passengers. Poof, gone. Just like that.
Today I learned that there is a ship that allows you to explore the bottom of a river without ever even getting wet. It's called the Diving Bell Ship, and it works almost like an upside-down cup underwater. But with a few extra complexities, oxygen is pumped into the capsule and the overpressure forces out the remaining water so all you're left with is a dry riverbed, which you can walk on without a diving suit. However, before you're allowed to go down into the belly, you'd have to go into this airlock chamber and get used to the pressure change. Once you're acclimated, you walk down the tunnel like staircases, and with every step you take it gets louder and foggier, with the humidity at the bottom at nearly 100%. The ship is most commonly used for underground work and recovery of various artifacts like this massive anchor. The question is, will you go in this thing or not? Yo, that thing is crazy, right? I'm not gonna lie, what they need to do is they need to bring that thing over to the Mariana Trench. See what's really lurking under the sea for fear that you'll lose yourself in their expectations of you. Well, I've felt that way for a long time. And then I see my big face on that movie screen with no makeup on and my natural hair color, and I'm like, oh, I just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, I, I have always liked to shapeshift. There you have it. She said it. From her lips to our ears, verbatim, shapeshifter. That brings us to the end of the video for this week, y'all. If you've made it this far, huge, huge thank you. If you're not subscribed, please, guys, smash the subscribe button. If you like the content, smash the like button. We're still a new channel, and this kind of stuff really, really helps cement us in YouTube's algorithm, and it pushes our content out to a larger, broader audience, guys. And other than that, we'll see you all next week. Peace.